YouTube. It's um, a Saturday morning and um, I thought I'd take you on a sew along with me. Um, I made um, Luna quite a while ago now and if you watch my previous vlogs you'll know that I made um, this one for my granddaughters and um, there are only two and I thought on reflection I thought well if they bite you or anything then it's going to ruin it so I then went and made a cotton one because I thought that would be more robust. Um, so the dress that I made I put on the one I gifted and um, I'll put a picture up here of the one I made and gifted. Um, so then I was left with um, the original Luna and um, I knitted a hat for her, I think it's knit, no, crocheted a hat for her and a scarf and she's been sitting on my shelf for quite a while now and um, I thought it's about time I made her uh, a dress or, or something to wear. So I decided um, to make her um, something out of the book. So I bought this book, uh, Luna Lapin's Friends, for £5 from Amazon when um, I first bought the um, kit to make Luna. And um, it's got several um, outfits in here and it's also got um, the characters. So you've got the... Um, patterns for the characters and all these outfits that they're wearing and there are some extra outfits because in here is a pattern for I made because previously I made that dress for the uh, Luna I made for my granddaughter um, but this time I wanted to make something different so I found this lovely Luna 90 and I thought oh that would be nice and originally I thought well maybe I'll cut it short and make it into a dress but I had plenty of fabric um, I was going to use this fabric here and it's got stars on so I thought oh well that's quite appropriate for night so I traced the patterns and um, there was the neck piece and then there was a back and a front and you put them on the fold and you had to stick them together because um, it's, it's only an A4 book. So um, that was the pattern trace. And um, I'm now going to insert some footage of um, me making it. So as you can see, um, I've attached the best sides together, machined it round here as it shows in the book and now I'm just pinned that round and I'm going to do it by hand because it says to do it by hand in the book. So and then I'm going to have to do the same this end which will be even more fiddly because there's two bits. So I'm just going to do this bit by hand and then we'll get on and do this other bit. But uh, Luna's dress is coming on. Well, nighty. It's got stars on it, so I thought we'll make it as a nighty. But yes, yeah, so hand stitch that. Right, the light in here is really bad. This is, well, it's quarter past seven in the morning, so it is. Um, but it's a very rainy day, so it's very dull outside, even though it is um, meant to be light. Well, I've got some red here. I don't know if that'll be, I don't know if it'll be better off with white. I think it'll be all right. I don't think it's going to show the other side. I did think about top stitching this on the machine, but um, decided against it. It says to do it by hand.
So that's the front and there you can see the stitching I've done along there. So it's the front of the nighty there. Right, so now supposedly we've got to do the same to the back. So we need to find the middle. Uh, we'll have to gather it up to the middle. But then this will come over here and you've got to put it in this bit here. Like that. So as you can see, we've got to gather it up that much. So yeah, so now I've got a machine along there. That is really going to be fiddly. And I've got to do the same with the other side. I might do this one first, see how it goes. Is really fiddly. Right, I'll be back. Right, so they found the easiest way was the safest way was to do it along here because that way I wouldn't catch any of this. So there we are. And now I've got to do it to this side. Right, so there we are. I'm going to go and machine that. Right, so as you can see, I've done that. Now, I can see there's going to be a problem putting those through because, uh, so I think I'm going to snip up here so that it will, it will tuck in nicely. And that tucks in better then. Right, so now we need to join the sides together. So that is um, just down the side here. It says, so we can do it with an overlocker and then you do hem it. And then I've got to go back and do the button and the uh, little button loop, because I didn't do that earlier. Right, so I'm just going to do the sides on the overlocker and then um, I'll be back. <laughs> Just gonna overlock bottom of the dress ready for him in. Just makes it easier. Stops it fraying and um, makes it easier to turn it around the quiz.
just need to tie off the edges and then um, we'll be ready to hem it. Right, as you can see, I've pressed and um, turned over twice and hemmed the bottom with the machine. Um, I'm now got to just do the button and the button loop at the back there. Really tiny button, I think. There, and then we're done. And we can try it on Luna. So here we are. Just a few threads caught up. So there we are. We have um, a little button on and the button loop, which I hope it fits, yes. So, um, and it's all done. All we've got to do now is um, try it on Luna. So uh, here she is. So I don't think we need her hat on. I mean, she's uh, and her scarf while she's in her night clothes. Um, let's uh, try it on. See if I can get over the head. Yes. Oh, that's lucky, isn't it? Just Your arms, Luna. So um, you could make this uh, a shortened version and have it as a day dress. I think that'd be rather pretty at the moment. It's a night dress. Hope you enjoyed seeing Luna's night dress being made. Um, what can I say about the pattern? It was very fiddly. Uh, the instructions weren't 100% clear, um, but we made it. And uh, it fits beautifully. So thanks for watching and um, please like and subscribe and let me know if you'd like any more how to's or sew alongs with any of Luna's projects um, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.